What up, people? Everybody good? show y'all because I know there's a lot of people coming to me saying yo back you really still in your identity bro I didn't see it before but I see it now people are coming to me saying I see it you was right and you're constantly showing proof of so many different things on how this guy is a bozo and he's just been stealing everything. Look at him. Ask him where did he get that car stuff from? Where did he get that car blogging from? Always talking about who he putting on. Ask him who he's stealing from. When he do that. Where he get that? Where he get that from? You know where he got it from? Originator. That's from the originator. That's where he got it from. You heard? Now I'm gonna tell y'all something else. Answer me this. Hold up, I should be doing it too. guy's neck but they got really no reasons they just doing it for internet stuff views and stuff i'm coming here telling y'all i got a problem with this i've been a rapper before little hassan campbell came with a story yeah i was way before hassan campbell okay his little story is new he's a new he's new he's a new jack to me this is why he don't answer me because he know he's a he's a little he's a baby to me Sun, son to me. That's why he don't answer me. Because he took everything from me. I'm the originator. Alright, now I'm going to introduce something else to y'all. Let me ask you a question. If you feel anything, like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any question you want, I'll tell you anything. Why is Hassan Campbell? whole style everything he does is stolen from someone else his whole show everything about him is stolen from people like me turn your TV off he didn't make that up everybody said that when it was locked up. That's a known term people use when they was locked up. Turn your TV off. Slang. Snot box rock. He didn't make that up. Everybody been saying, get your snot box rock. It's an old saying people used to say back in the, you know, a little while ago. Who knows? Heal up. Wheel up. Bring it back. Come rewind. It's stolen. That's 
from a record. <clears throat> These little songs he sings is from records. Everything's stolen. Nothing, what I'm trying to tell you is nothing is original. He sat back and made up nothing. He took everything from everybody else, put it all in the bowl, put it all in the bowl, and he mixed it up. Boom! I'm Hassan Campbell. No, you're a thief. You're a thief. You're a thief. And you're not going to run for it. You're not going to run from it. You're a thief. You stole my whole identity, car blogging, facial expressions, tattoos. Only thing you couldn't do is copy off my body. That's the only thing you couldn't do because you don't got that body and you can't pay for that body and your little money don't pay for that body and you can't get it. You know why you can't get it? Because these are the type of people that can't get nothing that takes work. Anything that takes hard work, you got to be. Let me, let me tell y'all something else that they're going to share all over the internet. Because every time I talk, I hit the target. I hit the target. Put some water on your face. Okay? Do you understand this, what I'm telling you? Okay? Hassan Campbell's a thief. And what he's mad at, the most thing Hassan Campbell's mad at is because he got this YouTube thing, right? And when people do something in this world, I want y'all to follow me, man, because daddy's home I'm teaching everybody. You heard? What got these people so mad, like him? When he did something with YouTube and all that, you get thousands and millions of people doing the same thing. You know why? Because, you know, when you ain't got nothing, no talent, you don't got nothing, there's nothing you could present to the world, nothing you could make up with nothing, and then you find something that works, the rest of the world can do it too. He can't do nothing in this world that he don't have to worry about people coming behind him and doing it. You know why? Because everything that he does, anybody can do. Anybody can do anything that he does. So he's upset that people come behind him and do his easy little thing that he does. Like, see me right here on YouTube? I could do what he do. He does nothing. I'm doing what he's doing. I'm getting popular. My views is going up. My channel is going to go up. I'm going to get subscribers. We're going to get money, super chat. All this he's going to look at. And it's going to kill him inside. You know why? Because he's only doing something that everybody can do. See, real, real ones. Let me tell you what real ones do. Real ones do things. It's hard to come and do. After them. You can't just mimic them. You got to learn something. You gotta learn this, learn that. Do is a lot of things you gotta do to mimic them. So this is why a lot of people that are successful in doing what they do, they don't worry about. They're not so mad at everybody. They're not so dissing everybody. I mean, for Christ's sakes, if you made it already, what are you doing? What are you doing out here? You're, if you already made a million dollars, what the hell are you doing arguing with people and talking to people, and you already made it? Is because you're not happy. Even with the pennies. You know why you're not happy with, them, with, the, with the pennies? Because the story that's connected to the money, you can't shake. Nobody wants it. It's driving you out of your mind, literally. See? So everything he does is made up. Nothing is original. He made up nothing. Snot box, rock, TV turned off. Heal up, reel up. Take the what and leave the what. This is, his whole life is a 
He goes out, sees things, mimics it. Hey, that was good. That was good. The car blogging guy, that was good. Snapbox Rocks TV turned off all those old jail sayings. He made up nothing, y'all. So to all the new people that subscribe to the channel, and this is your first time hearing some of the things he says, and you think in your mind, this is the creator. Wow, he's, no, he created nothing, okay? He created nothing. Every element, how you, every aspect of you, every element of you is somebody else mixed in a bowl. Get out of here, fuck out of here with that, man. Get out of here. Be creative, learn how to do something when people copy it, it's you. You see how you copied me? You see how you copied my car blogging? You see how I got the whole world in the cars blogging? Yeah, do something that you created. Stop taking everybody's words, taking every song. Every, it's all made up, it's all old stuff that's been out. He did nothing. So he actually did nothing. Now I'm gonna show you how to do nothing. The same, like there's nothing. I'm on your heels. Okay? A lying challenge becomes the truth. And the truth of the challenge destroys lives. Yeah. Put some water on your face. Do you understand this? Okay? He did nothing. I'm just coming to share with y'all to give you a breakdown and a quick rundown on how this guy, just like they do in Hollywood, all the stuff Cat Williams talking about, all the people stealing, he actually, they actually got the footage of Cat Williams doing a joke. And then Cedric the Entertainer coming doing the same joke, changing it. This is what these people do, is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't be surprised, it's not far-fetched. This is what they do when you find something that looks good and you you uncreative, you can't create nothing, you steal it. You steal it. You know what I'm saying? So stop acting like stop acting like you're a creator or you did something. You're not even a YouTube content creator. You're a copycat creator. That's what you are. You don't content creator because you don't create content. All the content that's coming from you. It's been created already. Facts. You heard? Facts. Don't let them front on you. Shall we begin? Everything in this guy's life is stolen. So when he gets on camera saying these things, remember. Say, oh yeah, Pac told me. It's stolen. Let me look it up. I see. Heal up. Will up. Bring it back. Come the line. You're saying it with so much conviction as if you made it up. You made up nothing. It's not box rock. TV turned off. Nothing's yours. You, 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 you got the Hollywood couch over there, man. Nobody wants to come sit on your Hollywood couch, bro. You or Zip. Zip got the bum Hollywood couch and you got the good Hollywood couch. But it don't matter because nobody wants to sit on your couch. There's no baddies around massaging your body. They're not interested like that. All these guys are regular dagger chasing regular chicken project chicken eggs. You got a little bit of money. Now you could go back to, well, at least you can go back to the projects and act like you got money. You can get some of them little project, little chicken head project, chicken heads. See, you got to remember, Hassan was raised and born and raised in, in the projects. I never lived in the projects. I've always had a better life than this guy. Since the beginning of time, my life was just better. Just, see, sometimes it's just better. Put some water on your face. I know this, this pisses you off. You're a project, baby. Born and raised in the roaches, in the rat roaches of the projects, bro. Stop. This is why he gets on camera and be so excited. Money, nigga. Get 
but he can't, he can't believe it himself that the YouTube thing worked. He was satisfied. He counted himself out. He was accepting the project life. Okay, he got on YouTube and it changed. Okay, he can't believe it. When he look in the camera, he got a little ring and a chain. Can't believe I made it to this level. Twenty baby mothers as a as a bum nigga with twenty baby mothers, man. Twenty kids, ten baby mothers, whatever. I don't care how many baby mothers. Twenty kids, bro. A bum nigga. Flat out bum. A bum worse than anybody he talks about on YouTube. He was a worse bum, a worse deadbeat father. He's a bum nigga that couldn't take care of twenty kids. You know that he's a bum. He was a bum. He couldn't take care of two. One kid. He's a bum, nigga. Stop talking about people, bro. We tired of that. We not having that no more. Don't talk about you. Was a, you was the most bummest nigga of any bum nigga there, there is in the world of bums. What are you talking about, bro? You're the, you're the worst bummest nigga in the, in the history of bum. You. Yeah. So don't call nobody no names, man. Don't be trying to shit on nobody. Twenty baby mothers. Twenty when you got when you got twenty kids and five baby mothers, ten baby mothers, and twenty kids. And you ain't got no money, you're the pro you living in the projects, bro. The bum ass Bronx projects. Shout out to the Bronx and all that, but what are you saying, bro? Stop. You're a bum. Even with money, you're a bum. You're, the portion of your, the most portion of your life that you was on, on earth with, you was a bum. You got more years being a bum than you got with a couple of YouTube dollars. Yeah. Well, put some water on your face on that. Put some water on your face. Okay. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You have more years in your life with your bum ass being a bum in a park with a soggy t-shirt on trying to get interviews from Sonetta and Star. You're a bum. You've been a bum. You've always been a bum. Your baby mothers know you're a bum. Your whole life is a bum. You got more years in your life as a bum than that's having a couple dollars from YouTube. What are you talking about? Seriously, bro. Do you understand this? Does this register in your bum ass head? How this, how, look at this. You got money, you want YouTube and everything. And I can sit here and confidently call you a bum. You're a bum. You're not a celebrity, you're a bum. You've been a bum. Your life is a bum. The beginning of your life is a bum. Everything is just bum style. So stop, you're a bum. We don't care about no ring you get because we know you're a bum. He's a bum nigga. He's one of them sorry ass deadbeat dads. Bum nigga. That slipped and tripped and bumped his head on YouTube, bro. Facts. Do you understand this? Do you understand this? You're a bum. Bum nigga. The type of nigga bitches can't stand. 20 kids. What the fuck? Where do you do that at? Who, the people you call them bums didn't even run around and have 20 kids as a bum and know they're a bum sitting around making babies and you know you're a bum. God blessed you. That was God came and said, I got to do something for this guy so he could do something for these 20 goddamn kids. That's all it is. God does that sometimes. He had to bless you so you can't have your bum ass excuse we got 20 goddamn rock, 20 little peasy head rock heads starving, nigga. That need stuff, nigga. What are you talking about? Baby mothers don't want to see you. 
They don't want to make love to you. You're a bum, man. You're a bum, bro. Your whole life's been a bum, bro. 20 kids, bro. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Why you made 20 kids is because you wanted to psychologically, psychologically fix your brain to believe in you're in love with women or whatever, you know, because of anything. I'm not making fun about nothing in your life, bro. As far as that, if you notice, I never make fun about nothing with all that bad body and all. I ain't into that. But what I am into telling you the reasons why you do things and the reason why you had 20 kids is because you wanted to make yourself feel like you, nah, I'm with the women, I love women. So you went out and had 20 kids as a bum. No consideration for the kids. How you gonna take care of them? How you gonna provide for them? You were just selfish thinking about your own feelings, how you wanted to feel about being a man. Right? So this is what it is. Now, put some water on your face because I'm talking to you in real life now. This ain't no dissing. This is me talking to you. I'm letting you know who you are. You're a bum nigga. All right? That goes out with no consideration, makes babies out of nowhere. You didn't marry these women. You didn't marry these women, nigga. What are you talking about? You didn't go marry these women. After. You had kids left one and another one, had another kid left, had another one. Your whole, I could imagine... The, 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 I could imagine the relationships you had with these women. I could imagine the emotional roller coaster that you took these beautiful women on, man. I can imagine the emotional wheel up, hold up, wheel up, bring it back, come rewind. I can use it too, because it's somebody else's. It's not box rock, TV, I can use everything. It's not yours. Nothing's yours. You made up nothing. Yeah, nigga, this ether right here. Put some water on your face. This is called ether. Same way I did the record, and Zip came, played the record. It did everything I did the same way, little cocksucker. Ether, I'm the man here. It's my shit now, nigga. Yeah. Uh -huh. Feel real good. This mine's boy. I'm taking it. You know why? Cause you, you, me. You was me. You was trying to be me, and now I gotta come take me back from you, with no remorse. I don't care. I'm not. I don't care how mad you get, upset. None of that. Don't wanna fight me. You got 80 people to fight before me. You got about 200 people to fight before me, before you think about. I'm oh, gonna pack you. You gotta be mad. Get out of here, nigga. Put some water on your face. Do you understand this? Mind. Stop being taking me back, nigga. I got the right to take me back. You don't got the right to steal my identity. I don't care how fly you think I am. Must be out your rabbit ass mind, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hear that look? Look at you. That's what's over here. Squeaky clean, nigga. You squeaky clean over here. You know what I'm saying? You hear that? It's called squeaky clean. You're not squeaky clean. Nothing clean about you, bro. You're dirty. You're a dirty bum. You're a dirty bum. You're not a celebrity. Stop saying you're a celebrity. You're a dirty bum. You come out, Clyde, you gotta come out with ice grill. You don't come out with a smile. Ain't nobody celebrating you. Ain't nobody waving to you. You're not getting no baddies. You got 20, 20 chicken head baby. Let me see those 20 let me go let me see these these five babies how many how many babies yeah 20 babies from 10 girls let me see these chicken heads i need to see them. we need to rate them we want to rate every last one of them we're going to find them if anybody out there knows this bozo's baby's mothers find them we want to see them we want to observe them we went and had a whole bunch of goddamn kids and they have shit no money you're a deadbeat dad Right? You're a piece of crap. It's impossible to spend time with 20 peasy head little rockets. Get out of here. You are nothing. We don't respect you. The only reason why you got money, because that was God. God came down and knew your sorry ass, you deadbeat bum, 
Project Bronx baby bum nigga your whole life had to get something. You had to get something to take care. Ain't gonna let you ride out into the sunset. Cause, cause, cause leave it up to you. Leave it up to you. Leave it up to you. You. Leave it up to you. Them kids would have had no milk, no nothing. Their mothers on welfare because they had no choice. They had a deadbeat baby's father like you. Like you. You're a bum. You've been a bum. You always was a bum. This is why you come on the internet calling people bums. Because you can't believe that you got out of the bum zone. Bum. Alright? Bum. You've been a bum. Your whole life. Knock it off. Nothing is yours. Everything's stolen. It's mine now. It's mine. Yeah. Put some water on your face. Do you understand this? I made that up.